Hello and welcome to the 15th episode of the Hiatus Review Show that I do. Today we'll be reviewing Onion Trade. I went into this episode with minimal expectations. Did it meet those expectations or did it somehow fall below them? Let's find out. Alright, so for the first thing I liked in Onion Trade, you have Grace right there. Uh, basically, the host fight between Greg and Steven is kind of cu- cute. And reminds me of the host fight in Catfingers. It's a kind of nice continuity they have going. That's sort of their thing that they fight with the host. That's literally all I was to say about it. It's just kind of a nice thing this episode does that I genuinely enjoy. For the second thing I like, and definitely in my opinion at the start of the episode, the, f- the time where Pearl says, Steven, you left your- basically Steven, you left your window open for anything to fly in here. It's kind of a nice hint towards the how Onion's going to steal Steven's toy, and that's going to cause all the conflict in the episode. Again, not much to say about it. It's just kind of nice. I kind of like how they hint towards it with that one line that I almost missed, cause, as I'm sure a lot of people did, because it's really subtle. I like that. It's genuinely a good part. For the next thing, uh, Dave Kai's kind of okay. It's kind of a funny joke. Uh, his taxes and seems to be a bit of a mess. I don't know. It's okay. That's all I got for that. Another thing in Onion Trade is that I kind of liked the um, the phrase. I guess they don't need words. Kind of funny. Kind of shows us Steven's little kid who might not understand different languages are a thing. Uh, yeah. That's kind of just kind of cool. You know, whatever. Another thing in Onion Trade, I genuinely enjoyed the fake ending. How it's like. Oh, you missed your dad. That's why you're still Ranger guy. Oh, no, it's just because you're bored. Okay, that's whatever. It's it's kind of... Up to this point, every episode seems to have a very... Not standard ending, but like everything... Everyone understands each other, and it's great. I just like this episode because it, it's like, Oh, Onion's just kind of an asshole. Whatever. He is just who he is. He's, he's chaotic neutral, as they might say. Yeah. If that's even right, I don't, I'm not good at D&D at all. That's pretty much it for that point. Uh, let's move on to the next one. And the final point I have is that I like Onion, both the food and the character. It's just kind of interesting, a little bit different from everybody else. Kind of weird, and I like him. Expect something else from this? Some big, deeper mo- point? Ah, it's Onion Trade, man. I don't know. Ruin what I don't like. So now, for what I don't like about Onion Trade. Sit down, this is going to be a, a long one, potentially. This is the most pointless episode in the entire show. We learn almost nothing about any of the characters, nothing about the gems as, you know, aliens. Nothing. Literally, the one character thing we learn is that Onion's dad isn't around. Because, oh man, Onion's kind of a chaotic, neutral character who does bad things. If only they hinted towards that in so many birthdays. Where Onion breaks open an arcade machine to steal the tickets. <sighs> man, Amethyst is kind of a mess. I wonder if that's ever been talked about before in an episode. Oh man, Pearl's kind of clean and they tend to clash with Amethyst and Pearl. I wonder if that's ever been talked about before. Steven's a good kid. That's been talked about before. They bring up a new gem artifact, which is always interesting, and then immediately destroy it, making it so it'll never show up again, and it's completely pointless. This is the most pointless episode, and I I, I feel bad saying that, because it's not a bad episode, it's fine. It's kind of funny, has a decent message, I guess, but except not really, it's fake message, but whatever. It's kind of funny, and I, 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 I kind of like it, but it's so pointless. Yeah, Steven and Greg like each other, and they have a good relationship. If only there were episodes that talked about that in the past, like, I don't know, Laser Light Cannon. And even bringing up a new gem weapon, it's not like it's a new, it's not like it's the first time we've ever seen one. We literally saw the cannon in, again, the second episode. This episode is completely pointless, and it, honestly, I always say, you could probably skip this one if you want. You could, if you skipped this one, you wouldn't know you skipped it. I don't think I watched this episode the first time. There's a few I, I didn't watch because I got into the show in a weird way, so that's kind of mean for me to bring that up, but this episode's so pointless. That's pretty much what I don't like. Let's get to the final verdict. Okay, I'll keep this brief because dislike is also basically the final verdict. 
It's pointless. It is completely pointless. There's nothing to talk about with it. At least Together Breakfast and Cat Fingers, which are episodes I thought were pointless, either gave us new gem stuff or at least talked about the characters a little bit. If you like Onion Tree, that's great. It's a fine episode and I have no problems with it. It's just pointless. Which actually, part of the reason I dislike is because I have to talk about it and because it's pointless, like, what do I say? Besides, it's pointless. That's it. That's all I got for today, guys. I'll see you guys next time for... As usual, I don't remember what episode is next, but I think it's a good one. I remember being excited for it, so I'll see you guys next time.